Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Computer is back. I'll give you my speech. I have two. Okay. Yeah. This is my yeah. sound bite. Yeah. David, okay. Arthur, I'll, I'll give you a couple of seconds to add time. David Arthur Johnston is in jail for protesting against the criminalization of the poor uh, by raising awareness of the, of the of poverty. Okay, hold on. David Arthur Johnson is in jail for raising awareness of the poor by campaigning against okay. the criminalization of poverty. He's been fasting for 30 days at this point. He spent over 100 days in jail fasting already. He's lost 43 pounds. It's a life and death issue. And it boils down to we have the, the duty to obey, disobey unjust. Just wait, hey, much duty to disobey the unjust laws and injustice as we have a oh, Only friend of David's, I guess. Yeah, in 2000 and in 2001, I was arrested in the legislature along with David. We were protesting against the criminalization of poverty at that time. Um, that was a movement that started uh, a long time before that. I think it goes back to the Spiral Island protest at the uh, Christchurch Cathedral in 2000. A group of kids were kicked off that ground. They moved to the city hall, then they moved to the courthouse, back to the city hall. They occupied a uh, jewelry warehouse, um, and there was pressure put on the uh, landlord by the police to cancel the, uh, the lease. Anyway, uh, I moved to the legislature lawn for the Camp Campbell uh, protest. Then I showed up from Vancouver as a representative of Food Not Bombs. Everybody else left. They served a court order to have the homeless people removed. We wanted a place for them to go. Nobody would listen. So David and I refused to leave and we were arrested. The attorney general on the federal level and the provincial level had to admit that they had no evidence to have silenced our uh, valid social concerns. Um, David never stopped campaigning. I went off to fight on a national level the last three years, and uh, 45, four years, and uh, David continued fighting here in Victoria, continuing to, uh, um, you know, just exercise his rights by living. Um, he t took a solemn vow of poverty. Um, he's the only person I know who will not allow money to cross his palms. It's been a year since he's allowed any form of currency to cross his palms. Um, what happens to a guy like that? You know, they hang him in Bastion Square, or they lock him up in loony bins and in Wilkinson Prison. He fasts to death and dies, and nobody cares. Because really, this, to me, it shows that uh, nobody cares if the homeless live or die in this society.